Oh, right, guys, today we're going to be reacting to German police says Syrian sucks with confesses to knife rampage. Uh, thank you so much for the support. This video was recommended to me. Let's see what's going on here. Jump in. Says he will travel to the western city of Solingen to pay his respect to the victims of a knife attack on Friday. Prosecutors say a 26 year old Syrian man has been remanded in custody after he confessed to carrying out the attack in which three people died and eight others were seriously wounded. The so called Islamic State claims it was behind the rampage at a festival oh. but provided no evidence. Police and prosecutors say the suspect turned himself in and they're investigating any links to the terrorist group. A suspected killer led away in ankle chains and handcuffs. Police have transferred the man they believe responsible for the Zorlingen knife attack to appear in court in Karlsruhe. The 26-year-old Syrian was detained on Saturday night after giving himself up and confessing to the crime. Media reports say he was wearing bloodstained clothing. His arrest came after a day-long manhunt, which included this police raid of a hostel for asylum seekers, not far from the scene of Friday's rampage. Thousands had gathered in central Zorlingen for a concert and street festival, when a man began stabbing people at random, killing three and wounding eight others. Damn. The so-called Islamic State has claimed responsibility. The group's links to the attack are still being investigated. Germany's President Frank-Walter Steinmeier called for better security for the public. We have to better protect ourselves from attacks like that. With regard to terrorism, this might also mean an expansion of powers. Central Zorlingen remains... What does that mean, expansion of powers? Power. That means that you currently don't have power, so you need to expand it. Hmm, interesting take. It's cordoned off as police continue their search for evidence. Locals remain in shock over the brutal attack at a festival okay. supposed to mark the city's 650th anniversary. Mark it. On a day when celebrations should have been taking place, Mozart. Instead, the people of Zorlingen are commemorating the victims of a night of bloodshed. DW's Aaron Tilton is in Zorlingen and he has more. In the 48 hours since last Friday's horrible attack here in Zolingen, which cost three people their lives and injured an additional eight others, one word has plagued most people I've spoken to. Why? What we know is one man is in custody and has confessed to the crime, but that hasn't given the people here any easy answers. For days now, they have been seeking solace within each other's company at makeshift memorials like the one behind me, seeking solace in their community. But at the same time, people are already beginning to point the finger. Some people I've spoken to point the finger at the uh, German government, saying their lax migration policies and refugee policies led to this horrible event. At the same time, others from the Muslim community have told me, please tell the world, this man doesn't represent our faith. This man isn't a man of God. But at the end of the day... Oh, okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Well, what's the take on that? Well, well you, had to, you had to put these people in the microphone. That way they can express that. Instead of you trying to say that's what they said. You need... You, it, it, how can I say this? You have to be able to just put people in the, micro, in, in the microphone. And that way they can tell to the world, hey, this guy is not part of our group. You know, is, he's not, you know, one of us. But you... Dude from w, uh, DW, you're saying it. It, it, it. People cannot really trust you for that, right? Even if they say that the the people, the local people are saying that they're, you know, they they had it for the migration. You, we have to hear it. That one word still plagues most. There is no easy answer why terror came home to Zolingen, and the only thing that's left for the residents of the city is to seek solace in their community. Take the pain. And I'm joined now by Hans Jakob Schindler. He's a senior director at the Counter Extremism Project and an expert on Islamic State and Islamist terrorism. Thank you so very much for taking the time and joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, nice studio, Islamic by the way. State claimed responsibility. Hey, I had to say that's a nice studio. For the attack in Solingen, can we trust their claim? Well, first of all, the claim came via their official main media outlet, Amak. 
Hence, the claim itself is original. The thing that still needs to be investigated is, have there been any links between the perpetrator and the Islamic State prior to the attack? Now, the Islamic State has been calling for such attacks since 2017 consistently. Um, it has increased its calls since October 2023 because Hamas was too much dominating in the media and IS only works if it's talked about. So it is absolutely also possible that we see here a inspired attack. That means the individual radicalized himself on the internet, mm. plans this attack, and just before you know I mean? he that's conducts the attack... That's such a cop-out. He was, you know, like... I, 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 I think... Uh, hear me out. I think that, that, that is easy, a cop-out to just not even look into a lot of these matters. Huh? He just got radicalized by the internet. When you think about it, you cannot control the internet. So they, them saying this, that means it's just in a way taking their hands out and saying, you know what, that's it. That's my opinion. Accents a message. And that way they can avoid taking some responsibility, whatever the situation was, right? It's true, IS that is going to do this now, which would explain why IS is so I vague know. in what they said and why it took them so long to claim responsibility. So what's the more common um, event uh, that we can observe? Because you just mentioned it may have been inspired by a terror group like Islamic State, yeah. but not necessarily ordered by a terror group like Islamic State. Um, what's the most common thing that happens? Are people here in Germany, German perpetrators, mostly radicalized by the community, by social media, or are they really worrying strong links to other terror groups? Well, here is the bad news. Um, we had in the last couple of years after 2019 in the Caliphate's destruction, less problems with larger scale complex organized attacks or what is called directed attacks. That means the perpetrator is in contact with the Islamic State and gets instruction on how to prepare for this attack. So organized attacks, Moscow in March. Um, Directed attack, very likely, what happened around the Taylor Swift concerts, because it turns out it was quite a complex plot, which is in, unlikely to be just out of the minds of a 19, 17 and 15 year old. And then you have this inspired attacks. We only in Germany had to be content with inspired attacks um, until about 2020, 2021. Since that time, we've seen all three attack versions being really pushed by the Islamic State, especially since October last year, to get back into the media. So it's really impossible to say which one is the more prevalent version. But what we can see is, of course, with directed attacks and organized attacks that require a certain amount of communication, mm -hmm. security forces, including through good cooperation internationally, have a good chance to detect this. And we've seen a number of ISIL cells being arrested in, in Germany prior to the European Football Championship and afterwards, because they were in communication with, with foreigners. These inspired attacks are extremely hard to detect beforehand. Yeah, because you have no data. But what you just mentioned, we do have a lot of data on those that are being ordered and actually follow a very specific system. We have uh, intelligence, foreign intelligence, US intelligence, we have German intelligence, and they all warned, have been warning now uh, since quite some time about a rise in Islamic terrorism that could also threaten Germany. Uh, in your view, what is the right reaction to it? What can, what should authorities do? And in this case, have they done it? Well, I mean, there is a couple of things that are very hard to do. So it, is, it should mm. be clear that after 2019, till now, we have withdrawn from all the areas in which Al-Qaeda, the Islamic State, are operating and growing. 2019, end of the caliphate, no more military operations of any great scale in Syria and Iraq. 2021, withdrawal from Afghanistan and the Taliban, the same individuals who harbored Osama bin Laden, not just the movement, the same personalities are back in the same positions in Afghanistan and we expect them to react differently to international terrorism that they uh, did uh, prior to 2001, unlikely. And since 2023, withdrawal of international forces from West Africa, the largest area in which Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State operate. So clearly, these groups have a much, much broader operational basis now than they had until 2019 and 2021. 2019, 2017 seemed like there was a, that was a, a pivotal moment in Germany's politics and when it comes down to these kind of things. 
my personal opinion when it comes down to this, I don't know what to tell you guys. I, my condolences, first of all, for those families that lost some of their loved ones. It's never okay. It's never okay. Well, I would love to hear you guys' opinion. I know some of you guys are not like it. That's fine. Even if you don't like it, let me know in the comment section below because it's a good way to just get some feedback. These things happen. I, I, I do believe, I'm in the belief that it should not happen. You know, it should not happen. Uh, but clearly, there's a there's a there's a concern with these things growing around the world. Um, we have we have in the United States, and you know, this happens to be that a bunch of illegals they took they took control of some uh, apartments in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> illegals, immigrants, they took they literally took by force, and now they cannot even they cannot operate. The citizen cannot even operate their buildings because the illegals, immigrants took the the apartments, folks. <laughs> This isn't that funny, but things happen, you know, you make sure that you guys are well aware, you know, you, you know, your surrounding, but I would love to hear you guys opinion regarding this. I, I really do. Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one.